Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Venetia Alexander Marshall. Welcome. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome as well. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button at the bottom and make sure you're clicking the bell so when I am uploading on YouTube, you are notified. Go shorty, it's your birthday. Go and party like it's your birthday. Yeah, my son is jamming because today is my birthday. So I'm wearing 45 very well. So I'm gonna bring you this birthday makeup look using some of my favorite makeup while I'm waiting for my daughter in the back so she could go to work and I got a few errands to run today on my birthday and my daughter's treating me to dinner later. So, <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and get started right now as we're waiting for her. And if you see me doing this and I'm doing this up here, I do have a TV in front of me and fitting it's Black Panther that's on my TV, so rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. Oh, we sure. lost a great one. We really did lose a great one. I'm like, yes. Yeah, we were all stunned at the death of Chadwick Boseman, so rest in peace. So let's go ahead and get started with this makeup look, as always. Handy dandy mirror with me. So let's go ahead and get started with this makeup look for my birthday. So for foundation, ha, I'm not starting with foundation. For primer, I'm gonna go with my Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Primer. So I'm gonna start with that first. Um, and this primer is very comfortable on my skin even though I do have uh, dry skin. I really do like this primer. So I'm gonna start with Fenty today. All right, and as always, my daughter is loud. And I can hear her. I can hear her. Yes, that's just awesome. <laughs> She's going to be late for her own appointment. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and blend this primer into the skin. I'm going to try and stay as matte as I possibly can today. So I have several places to go today. I know, I've already been responding to so many birthday wishes. I had so many people uh, DM me this morning. So. And this is one of these times I don't really celebrate my birthday, but I don't know this time it's a little different for me this year. I don't know why. I think God is moving in the right direction, direction for me. Um, that this time it's a little different. So, there we go. So we got that incorporated into the skin. Wakanda. Yeah, I'm watching Black Panther. They just had it on the Wakanda. So. All right, so we got that blended into the skin. So for foundation today, I am going to go with my Pat McGrath. It's a uh, skin fetish foundation. The shade I am in is medium deep 26. I'm going with Pat McGrath today. It's my birthday, so I decided to bring out the big dog. <laughs> yeah, I decided to bring out Pat McGrath today. It's my birthday. Why not? Let's do some Pat McGrath today. So if you haven't seen my makeup review, on Pat McGrath. I'll put it in the cards above. My kids had a colossal stroke <laughs> with Pat McGrath. <laughs> they had an outright stroke with Pat McGrath. <laughs> I told you, my daughter is loud back there. And definitely when I blend this foundation in, I definitely smell the Fenty uh, primer. So if you're not familiar with uh, Fenty, um, there is some scent in a lot of her uh, makeup products, but it's a slight scent. It's like when I bring my brush to my fat to my nose, I can smell it. But see, once it's away, I can't really smell it. I thought I'd change it up just a little bit because it's my birthday. 
Cause I'm always, cause otherwise I'm gonna bring the same old, same old makeup <laughs> that I always love to wear. So I decided let's change it up a little bit. Let's do a little Pat McGrath today. Yes, Wakanda. There we go. So we got that incorporated into the skin. And then this is a foundation I really like because it's a light to medium coverage foundation. And for those that are new to my channel, I see I have a lot of new people watching my uh, channel. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I am not that type of person that's into full, full, full coverage foundation. I'm really not. I'm more of that light to medium coverage. That is me. So this foundation from Pat McGrath, it to me, it fits fine. It is a buildable foundation if you're not familiar with the um, Pat McGrath foundation. It's light to medium coverage. You can build this up if you like, but it's supposed to give this skin finish to your face. And it definitely does bring that skin-like finish to your face. It is $68. We already been through that, Kendra. You know this foundation $68. <laughs> already been through it. So for concealing, we're going to stick with Pat McGrath. I am using her full coverage concealer. So we're going to go with that today. I don't know. It doesn't seem full coverage to me. I don't know. It just didn't seem full coverage to me. It didn't really, I don't know, it just didn't seem that full coverage to me, but it said it's a full coverage concealer, but I really, really like the concealer. I really do like the concealer. So I'm going to blend this out. This very small sponge, I know I've, when I do makeup looks, I've used this sponge several times. This sponge is actually from ColourPop, which I do have an updated ColourPop makeup review coming. I'm kind of behind on a lot of my reviews. I'm finally almost done getting caught up. So for those of you that are new to my channel, um, July was not a good month for me at all as I did test positive for COVID-19 and my body was ravaged for four weeks before I finally got over it. And I'm still having some effects from having COVID even though I am negative. I'm still having some effects from it. There we go. And one thing I do like about this concealer, it gives this very smooth finish under my eyes. So I really do like that. This concealer is $32. <laughs> But I like it. I really do like the concealer. I've even worn this concealer with my own brand, Vam Cosmetics. So if you're new to my channel, I do have my own cosmetics line, Vam Cosmetics. And all of the makeup that I have, it's all affordable. And we are releasing some new foundation shades. And we will be releasing setting powder. I'm very excited about that. All right, so we got the concealer blended in really, really well. And I've already shaped my contour. So now we're going to set. So for those of you that are new to my channel, I do set my face twice. So for the first setting powder, I am going to go with my Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. This is a mini. Um, it's not the full size. I wanted to see what all the hype was about with Laura Mercier. I, li I like the setting powder, so I'll... The next one I get is probably a full size as my daughter is loudly coming out of the room clinging with everything in sight on her pocket. Must be talking to best friend or your father. Yeah, I'm talking to my best friend. I thought. You finna get cussed out. We talk to me Oh, Lord. I'm, I'm on YouTube here. Oh. Oh, uh, I said happy birthday, Mom. Thank you. I'm on YouTube. Oh, oh, hey, y'all. <laughs> well, they're both now on YouTube. Her best friend is what I call my other son. 
<laughs> I call him my other son. There we go. So yes, her best friend is a male. <laughs> All right, we're gonna top up Laura Mercier. I'm gonna go ahead and sweep this off my face. This brush here, it comes from AOA Studio, the shop Miss A. So I got this in a brush set. The brush set was 10 bucks. And it's very, very smoothing. On the skin. There we go. So we got that in to the skin. I'm trying to be as matte as I possibly can because I will be out for quite a while today for my birthday. All right, so for the second setting powder, I am going to go with my favorite, my absolute favorite. This is from Fenty Beauty. This is the loose setting powder in Nutmeg that I have. I love this setting powder. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Which coming soon, I will have yet another updated Fenty Beauty <laughs> makeup review. Because <laughs> Fenty came out with some more new stuff. So I'm going to try it. And I'm actually anxious to try their new uh, skincare line. So I am very anxious about trying out the new skincare line as well. Because I'm always testing out different skincare for my um, face. Since I do have dry skin. For years, I had combination skin, and then when I had my hysterectomy last year, my combination skin turned into completely dry skin. So I have had, literally had to play with different um, skincare products to see what worked on my skin, what didn't work for my skin, um, which I will be doing a new um, skincare routine so I have found some other products that I do like. There are some products I don't like. So. All right, so for bronzing, I am going to go with the Makeup Revolution Glow Ultra uh, Bronzer. The shade I have is medium. So if you're not familiar with this bronzer, this is medium. And look how dark it is. Yes, if you can see. Wakanda. So yeah, this is a very good bronzer, very pigmented, and this is medium. And I started to go with dark. I'm glad I did, because if I had gone dark, I would have been too dark. So if you're my shade, medium is going to be your best friend. I'll get that down there on my chin. There we go. We got that going. Put some on my. Man, my phone has been buzzing all morning <laughs> with birthday wishes. Look at that. Uh oh. All right. All right. So next is a blush. So for blush, I'm going with me. <laughs> so we do have a blush palette. Here it is. This is from my, my company, VAM Cosmetics. This is our red blush palette. Um, our blush palette is currently available for $10. This is what it looks like. You get four quads, very pigmented quads. And with a mirror, they come in very vibrant shades. You need a little bit. Because you don't want to do too much. Otherwise, yeah, you'll do too much. So I am going to go with this shade in the corner. I am tapping off access. And look at the color. Look at the color. There we go. All right, next is highlighter. I knew I forgot something. I knew I forgot my highlighter brush. But that's all right. We're going to make it work. We're going to make it work. 
we go make it work <laughs> so for highlighter i am going to go with my juvia's place highlighter this is the tribe volume two so i'm gonna go with my juvia's place highlighter today this is my birthday oh i keep forgetting this thing is highly pigmented i always go overboard with this highlighter I always go overboard with this highlighter Always do. There we go. All right, We're kind of moving a little fast here. So let me kind of tone this down a little bit. Let's tone this down a little bit. And I'm not adding no extra product or anything. So if you do go a little overboard with any of your products, take your bronzing brush or your sponge and go over it. To kind of mute it out and that's what i'm doing. kind of muting it out because i did a little too much <laughs> all right next is eyeshadow so i'm like it's my birthday i'm gonna go all out for my birthday with my eyeshadow palette why not pat mcgrath so if you watch my review yes i kept it in the packaging this is the mothership volume six eyeshadow palette so yes i still kept it in the packaging i still keep it in the packaging i don't let nobody touch this eyeshadow palette <laughs> I let nobody touch this eyeshadow palette. This eyeshadow palette is $125. So I let no one touch this. So there, here it is. This is what it looks like. So I'm going with the Mothership 6 eyeshadow palette today. I do plan on getting the Mothership. The, the latest eyeshadow palette she has coming out. So look for an updated Pat McGrath makeup review that is coming out. Um, What am I going to go with today? Hmm. Hmm. You know what? Let's kind of smoke it out a little bit. So I'm going to go in my palette. I'm going to go with this gray tone right here. So I'm going to go with that today. Not all that into really dark eyeshadow. But with the shirt I'm wearing today, I am. There we go, we're going with that. And all I did was just dip in it just a little bit. So it did give a lot of color. There we go. There we go. Look at there. All right, so for a little shimmer, I think I'm gonna go with the one above the gray, so I'm gonna go with that one today. I see, I'm splurging a little bit today. It's my birthday. Let's see. See how loud my daughter is. Loud. See, just just loud, y'all. She just loud. <laughs> See that? Just loud, y'all. Hear all in my YouTube video. Now we're just gonna blend the two together. You are very loud, yeah. We're gonna blend them together. You see what I'm wearing? What's that? That's Pat $68. No, this is $125 palette. <laughs> <laughs> they have forgot. We've already done the video for this. Miranda looked to the side. Kendra coughing. They forgot we already did this review. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. Yes, you still see. I still keep it in the package. 
They'll still keep it in the package. Shh. Go ahead and stop my car. Go ahead and stop my car. You can't start it without the key. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and set the face. I'm going to set my face with my Morphe setting spray. I'm going to go with that. Let that sit for a few minutes. I always set my face before mascara because if you do it after you apply your mascara, your mascara is going to run. So don't do it. Don't do it. All right, mascara. I'm going to go with my Black Radiance Bold and Sexy Mascara. So Black Radiance is my favorite when it comes to mascaras. I love their mascara. So the new people that are new to my channel, I am not a false lash person. I hate false lashes. You will not ever catch me wearing false lashes. Alright, last but not least, lip. So for lips today, we're going affordable. So I'm going to use my CoverGirl um, Melting Pout uh, Vinyl Lipstick. So I'm going with uh, CoverGirl today. What shade is this? Shade number 230. So I'm going with Maybelline, Maybelline with CoverGirl today. Why not? It's my birthday. All right. That is it with my birthday look. Here we go. And I'll go ahead and put on my hoop earrings. The hoop earrings I do offer for $5. So if you're interested in these silver hoop earrings, let me know in the bottom of the, uh, in the comment section rather. Not in the description box, in the comment section. All right, so that is it with this birthday look on my birthday. Here it is, final look. And hopefully 40 plus club approved. I'm wearing 45 pretty well. So with that being said, this is Venetia Alexander Marshall. I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.